That's right. The highest bid on this home was well over $300,000. But some of the people we spoke with tonight said they wouldn't pay a dime for it, given the horrible history here. And as you're about to see, some things inside this home haven't changed a bit. There's a lockbox on the door at this home in Paris and legal documents announcing a foreclosure sale at the former home of David and Louise Turpin. The couple now incarcerated, awaiting trial for allegedly torturing and holding captive their 13 children. I'd be scared. I wouldn't pay anything for that house. But this week, the so-called House of Horrors commanded over $310,000 at auction. While the highest bidder's offer is currently being reviewed, we got a look inside the home those children escaped almost one year ago. Some of the rooms are still littered with garbage. A drawing on a box that says, please help me. The bunk beds a couple of the Turpin daughters were pictured shackled to at a preliminary hearing still stand in their bedroom amongst a heap of toys. Moldy bread sits in a bag on the kitchen counter where the children told investigators they were forced to march in a single file line every day to eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches they could no longer stand to eat and so instead starved. How do you treat your children that way? Wow, it's, it's unbelievable. Rose Duran says the whole town is still reeling from the heartbreak of what happened behind closed doors inside this home. You don't know who your neighbors are, right? Now neighbors here are wondering who would buy a house with such a horrible history and what they plan to do with it next. I, I would. I would feel bad, bad energy. I would. I would definitely, you know. Uh, no, I wouldn't like to live there. Not even as a neighbor. Not even as a neighbor. And under law, the name of that highest bidder is not being disclosed. Reporting live tonight in Paris, Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News.